Matnabooers, what's going on? Let's take a little look at Cloud GUI. So user area one, Cloud GUI. Now again, this is a um, shell replacement for CPM that I'm working on. Right now, you can launch it as a com file, as a TPA. Um, I'll move the org into, uh, into the CCP memory area once we get to that stage. So we're pretty close. So I'm gonna use a joystick here to show you. So we can go to like say file and then new. And we could choose a drive. In this case, we'll choose the AI drive, which is on the computer. Poof, there it is there. So we should see these files appear in there once I press okay. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'll go to file, new. Let's open another drive. Let's open the C drive. That's my, that's your user drive for all, for everybody who uses cloud CPM. That's where you can store your stuff and don't have to worry about it getting overridden. Okay, so that's what's on the C drive. That's what's on my A drive. You can see here that it moved the folders around because it did a, a tile. I can go to tools, I hit T for tools and I can hit cascade. Let's grab cloud GUI the file that we're running right now on the C drive, and we'll copy it to the AI. Again, I could be doing all this with the shortcut keys on the keyboard, but I just like to torture myself using this <laughs> super funky joystick, the Nabu joystick. Now you'll see that there's activity in the background that is telling you that there's disk activity. Because it's using the cloud CPM BIOS, you'll still get the read and write now let's open up another folder. I'll use the keyboard this time. So I can hit F for file, N for new, and then I can use the arrow keys, left and right for the drive, and up and down for the user area. I'm gonna just choose the B drive, or the A drive, which is um, the system drive. And you can see as it's loading, it's counting the files, um, it's all real time. Drive loading is gonna be much quicker pretty soon. Right now, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm loading way too many uh, parameters when I load, when I do a directory disk. I'm loading, the, I'm scanning for the size of the file as well, which takes up a lot, of, a lot of time. So I don't need to be doing that. So this will be much quicker once I get to that stage. I'm just uh, doing a few things first, which is just functional. Okay, so now what I could do is I can go to tools and say, cascade the, the windows. Let's suppose you wanted to add some new software to your cloud CPM for experimenting. You can go to nabu.ca, click on Cloud CPM, scroll down, scroll down forever and ever. In this section here called Tips and Tricks, you will find Get More CPM Software. Here is the Retro Archive, which is the most popular and easiest to navigate through. We can find a bunch of different programs here. For example, we have Programming Languages and Tools. Let's check it out. Look at this, Borland. Turbo Module, Cobalt 80, Assemblers, Digital Research, Rassum, Rassum Tassum. Let's try one of these out. I'm interested in Turbo Pascal. Let's download that, extract the contents. All of these files we're gonna copy into our Retronet folder. There we go. Let's close down our A drive there. Move this window up. Let's refresh it. So now on our IA folder, we have all the files that we had just put in that folder. So we have two ways to copy files. The slow way, of course, is to click up and edit, copy with the joystick, head over to the other window, and then select paste. And that's gonna take a long time using the joystick to do that. The quickest way is to click in the window and then use keyboard shortcuts, edit, C for copy, scroll over to the next window, hit E for edit, V for paste.
And our final file right here. Copy. Paste. Now we can exit with F, Q, go to our C drive, and user area zero. Here's all our files we just copied. So now we can try out Turbo Pascal. Right on. I have no idea how to use Pascal. So <laughs> I have buttons to, to press here and it does use CPM because I could scroll my 80 columns. Unexpected line of source, class escape. <laughs> so there's, I guess, the editor that we get the program in. Super cool. And it uses uh, ADM3A emulation because that's the emulation mode we're in right now. So fantastic. <laughs> so that's how you can copy programs from the internet into your, into your adapter and then poof on the Nabu. I'll add a, uh, a select all button up there eventually so you can copy the entire folder. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoy Cloud GUI because it is awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.